the nervous system is the thing that is evolving and the nervous system is supported by a skeleton of bones and muscles and tissue, etc., etc. Now, uh, the nervous system is that thing that gives us the picture of our realities. That is, our realities, that reality which you see all, all around you, the flowers and the chairs and the microphones and the uh, teacup, is given to us by our senses. Yeah. We don't see light which is beyond UV and beyond infrared. Uh, we hear only a limited uh, scale of vibrations, like, for instance, we hear anywhere from 52 to 20,000 maximum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, all our senses are limited. So, well, these limited senses, we naturally are seeing through a very narrow kind of tube mm -hmm. or very narrow slit in the total reality there is. Mm -hmm. Now, as you're evolving, what happens is that that slit opens up, opens up more and more and more. So you see more and more of that reality, and we assume that we see different realities. They're not very different realities, but rather an, a very extended, broad view of one very large reality. The senses are an extension of our nervous system. Our eyes, our ears, etc., are an extension of our brain. Now. This actually happens. There are techniques to do this. But uh, the, the Eastern uh, f uh, people, the, the yogis, have developed systems to, to do this, to push the nervous system rapidly. But it happens very often spontaneously without uh, someone trying to do anything about mm -hmm. it. And it just happens. We have this notion of a soul. You know? Most people uh, won't talking about the soul. It's a kind of non-physical things, highly theoretical. And so when you go to church, you take this soul out of the closet and polish it up a little bit, and then you go to church and you, you are <laughs> one with your soul. Then you come back and put it back in the closet till next week. So uh, that's about the idea of a normal person, the soul. But actually, that's not the case. I mean, we don't have souls, but it's just the other way around. A soul has us. So. That is, that thing that evolves, the permanent, eternal thing, is the soul, and the body is a kind of disposable thing. Uh -huh. That is, you know, you, you use a body uh, like a car for 80,000 miles, 100,000 miles, <laughs> and you chunk it, and that's it, you get another one. So, it's the, the driver is the soul who, who uses the body for a while, and then he runs it into the ground, and he gets another one sooner or later. The soul is the repository of information that we gather during a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Physical bodies are here, and another physical body, and another physical body, and this is Joe, and this is Jim, and this is Sarah, etc. Uh -huh. Now, clearly, on the phys this is the physical level, yeah? Now, on this physical level, we are separate. You sit there, and I sit here, and we're all separate. Now, let's draw another level. This level is, is slightly higher, and let's call this the level of the soul, yeah? Well, there will be some mingling here. Let's, let's draw this person as extending to practically infinity this way. Now look what happens. At the physical level, we are separate. We are separate, and there's this much distance between mm -hmm. us. Let's say that on the soul level, this person extends this much, and the other person gets slightly mixed in with him. That is, the souls are, in a way, in touch with each other. Okay, they overlap, these two lines. Now, let's go now to a higher level, and let's call this, uh, say, the level of the higher self, which is kind of a boss of that soul. Mm -hmm. uh, there, what we find is that this fellow's higher self extends this much, and the other fellow extends this much. Mm -hmm. There is more overlap between them. Right. On the very highest level, which is the high spiritual level, we are basically overlapping completely. Everybody is overlapping everybody else. In other words, everything and Everyone is everywhere. In other words, we've become omnipresent. Mm -hmm. This is a state of highly spiritual perfected beings, or gods you may call them. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
Okay, and so that we exist on all of those simultaneously. On all of those simultaneously, so but then, uh, we're not uh, aware of it. And so whether we like it or not, we're all evolving towards godhood. Mm -hmm. But you know, it takes eons, so don't hold your breath. Because at that point, you start understanding how the system works. And one of the good things about the system is that the system wants to teach you about itself. Mm -hmm. what does it's it a want good to teach system. Yeah. Yeah. What does it want to teach you? Well, if you are, if you are omnipresent and you are all-knowing, that is the state which the system wants you to be in. Mm -hmm. Because the system is an intelligence or information gathering system. Uh -huh. so and it's all of also freely distributing that information. 